Italy. What a country. And for the past few days, my highly allergenic wife and I enjoyed many of its splendors. But we didn't go to the typical places like Rome and Florence. No, no, we actually went to the countryside in a place called Umbria. Say it with me. Umbria. Blumenthal. Perfect. Yes, an area of Italy known for its olive oil, wines, and the only remaining blockbuster video store in the world. And the architecture was incredible. Buildings so old, they could have starred in the movie Cocoon. But every single thing had charm. The doors, the dogs, even the alleyways. I actually feel bad for people visiting New York who are used to seeing something like this. <laughs> and come here and see this. <laughs> But it was an amazing trip filled with more food than we could possibly handle. Allow me to run down just one of our meals. This is just one. And remind you, this is not an exaggeration. We started off with some olive bread, then some caprese salad, which transitioned into antipasta, pork, a soup, eggplant ravioli, spaghetti beef, then chocolate mousse followed by a custard thing, and cappuccino espresso, and finally, grappa, an after-dinner drink that could burn a hole in the ozone. And with all this food, you wonder how people in Italy actually stay in shape. They don't. But that's the beauty of Italians. They don't care. They're just happy, well-fed, and perfectly tanned. At the pool, we saw various sizes of people with one fashion accessory in common. Speedos. Seriously, the whole myth about European Speedos, it's all true. We saw blue ones, black ones. Sometimes we didn't see any at all. I, for one, opted for the much sexier style also known as pale guy who wears t-shirt in shade. But I did try to assimilate learning a variety of Italian words. For example, grazia, as well as grazia. Not to mention, that's it. That wraps up my entire Italian language education. But you can't really blame us because aside from Canada, we're only bordered by one country. And I already speak Mexican. <laughs> Spanish. Yeah! But a great way to learn the language is to watch a lot of Italian TV. Now, this doesn't just help your vocabulary, it also exposes you to a variety of shows that you may not know exist. Like the fact that there are several other Jersey Shores, like Geordie Shore from England, Acapulco Shore from Mexico, and Kangern af Mirelilistit from Denmark. And after truffle hunting, eating, and exploring buildings from the 1200s, it was time to come home. Aww. But it's hard to forget our trip to Italy, a beautiful country, and the perfect place to celebrate our one-year anniversary. Buona sera, signorina, buona sera. It is time to say goodnight to Napoli. 